<laughs> Undyne, so nice of you to visit us, but what brings you here? Well, you're my food buddy, right? I just came up with some healthy options, and I know you and your bro could use more than spaghetti and ketchup in your diet. Take a look. I bought some fruits and a few things for a healthy dressing. Oh, that is so considerate of you. Sons has been complaining lately about having something new to eat. Come in, come in. Always the gentleman, huh? So, speaking of, where is Sons? Ugh, I guess I should have figured. Would you care for a soda, Undyne? Or perhaps some chocolate or chips? We have a bevy of treats from which to choose. The virus, is that what you've been eating lately? I thought you liked to cook. Oh, my dear Behind the Times friend, why cook when you can have a diverse carte du jour of delightful dishes delivered to you with the tap of a screen? Wow! This pizza delivery app can have a hot and ready pie sent to me in a matter of seconds. Were you expecting company? Good boy, Cookie! As you can see, their timing is impeccable. Delivered fast and piping hot for your enjoyment. Would you like a slice, Undyne? <laughs> What's with all this fast food crap, Papyrus? Sancha sleeps all day, all three of you scarfing down fatty foods, gorging on snacks when you're not munching on pizza. It's not good for you, dude! You gotta think of your health! <laughs> Don't be silly. Skeletons can't get fat. Besides, we're just riding the wave of technology. What's wrong with that? How about you just try some of the lovely foods we order in? I'm sure you just haven't sampled the world of flavor they transport you to. I can't think of any other reason you're not singing the praises of modern conveniences. Don't test me, Papyrus. This is for your own good, okay? Starting today, you're going on a diet. And I'm going to put you through the most intense hell workout you have ever experienced. It's time to beat those carbs out of you. <laughs> Didn't know I set my alarm to nearly kill me this morning. Perhaps, why is Undyne here? And why does she want to kill me? Sons, sleeping all day is terrible for your health. Just look at that sorry excuse for a body. You're sagging more than your oversized clothes. Hey, I like my body. It's perfect for sleeping. Don't you think you're being a bit controlling? Also, I don't know if anyone told you, but bones don't sag. It's my job as police chief to make life here better for everyone. Control is in my job description, you lazy pile of bones. Now are you going to comply willingly? Great. I forgot she was a cop. I am, but from now on, I am also your coach. Call me Coach Undyne, sons. I want to hear you say it loud and proud. <laughs> Why the hell am I doing this? I could just teleport if I need to go somewhere. This is just a waste of energy, Undyne. Can I sleep now? Exercises train the upper body and core. You'll be supermodels in no time, boys. But I don't want to be a supermodel, Undyne. Is that disrespect I hear? I wouldn't back off the coach if I were you. <laughs> Come on, sons. You can do better than that. Use those scrawny bones. <laughs> 
Shorts? No, yeah. don't look on them! Think of your sensitive eyes! Sons, put some clothes on! They can't have you in the buff in this cold! Hey, wait! G give me back my shorts! Uh, papyrus? Undyne? Uh, the world's all spinny. Uh, where'd you go? Trampoline exercises work the whole body, but also give you great leg results and help with flexibility. You'll be gymnasts by sundown. Hey, this one ain't so bad. It's actually kind of fun. Attaboy, signs. In no time, you'll learn to love my coaching, and we'll turn you into a proper physical specimen. Hey! No leaving the training area without your coach's permission. <laughs> but I didn't mean to! Okay, it's lunchtime, boys. No more fast food. Only healthy eating from now on. I made the salad with my own two hands, so you better love it. What is this? Where are the noodles? Or the sauce? I would much rather have a nice pizza right now, thank you. No way, Papyrus. All those carbs have gone to your brain as much as they've gone to your hips. We need to get you used to proper food again. So eat your greens, bone boy. Well, vegetables aren't so bad. But I've never had a whole plate before. I'd trade my scarf for some cheese sauce right now. Good. Seems the training is working. Let's pick this up tomorrow. 6 a.m. sharp. Get some rest, you two. How many times do I gotta tell you skeletons can't lose weight? <laughs> oh, I'm so starving. I can't sleep. Fine, I will just count sheep. One little sheep, two little sheep, three little sheep, four little sheep, five roast lamb, six fried lamb, seven fried chicken, eight french fries, nine pizza, ten chocolate. Oh, all I can think of is delicious food. I need something to distract my food-addled mind. Perhaps a movie will take my mind off things. Oh, what's in the world? I'm seeing things now. See this, Papyrus? We're your best friends. You want to save your best friends from the evil witch, right? My room by your senses are tingling! <laughs> The poor munchies! It's not fair! <laughs> That's it, boys. Keep it up. All this hard work will pay off. Just you wait. Wait. Something's not right about this. Oh, those lazy sacks of bones are so dead! No one runs away from Undyne! Perhaps you're wasting time. Pack that up and let's get going. We only have so long before Undyne figures us out. Too late! Oh dear! Undyne, we're so sorry! We surrender! Please don't hurt us! Oh, it was just cookie. Are you hungry, boy? Would you like a sausage? Undyne! Look, this has gone too far. Oh no, it hasn't gone far enough. You clearly need more discipline. I don't want to do this, but I can't do another pull-up, okay? I just can't! You seriously think you can beat me with those twigs you call arms? Look, 
I know you think you're doing this for our health, but it's too much. If I gotta beat that lesson in India, then so be it. Yo, these ain't too bad. I'm starting to see why Paps likes this junk food so much. <laughs> Plus, it'll just go to waste if I leave it be. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Undyne? What's up? You feeling okay? <laughs> uh, Undyne, what the hell? Hey, don't come near me! Stay away! Oh dear. I wondered what happened to my expired snack collection. Sons. I've been getting texts from her all day. I even asked her out this Sunday. That's great, Pants. What'd she say? Well, she hasn't responded since I sent her the location. Just left me on red. But it's maybe the thousand selfies I sent her. I don't know, bro. Never been on a date before. Don't move, Papyrus. What was that, Sons? Let's get home. I'm starving. I'm certain it's simply a side effect of being madly in love. I'm sure some of my glorious spaghetti will fix me right up. Brother, where did you go? My goodness, Sons, can't you listen to my woes for one second without running off? Shh! Quiet, Paps. Something's hiding over there. Bro, your arms are longer. You check. What? Why me? You do it, brother. All right, whatever you are. We know you're in there. Come on out. Oh, good heavens! Hey, look at those eyes! It's a ghost, I know it is! I can't handle ghost songs! It's not a ghost. You scared a silly little pup. Well, that's a relief. Let's blow this joint, Paps. Ah. Uh. Oh, hey there, pup. Do you have a home, little guy? You look hungry. You know what? If you like, you can have some of my world-famous spaghetti with black pepper sauce. Would you like that? Hmm? Maybe you should try a less calcium-rich diet. I swear my spaghetti tastes better than I do. Are you done playing with the mud, Paps? Come on, we gotta get home. Sons, wait. We can't leave this poor puppy in the cold like this. He could get with the wrong crowd. Can we take him home, brother? Please? No way, bro. You're enough of a hassle at home. Don't need two wild animals running around. Sorry, Paps, but I put my foot down. I'm sorry, little one. My brother is the boss, and he said his piece. I really wish we could, but I hope you understand. Sons, do you think he'll be okay? Humans love pets, right? I'm sure if we... Papyrus, I'm not changing my mind. I know you want to help it, but it's a huge responsibility. So either shut your yap or be quiet. Um... Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> oh, hello, little one. Were you following us? Perhaps. What did I say? Don't make this difficult. Uh, he must just be hungry and tired, brother. It's just... 
I told you we're not doing this, Papyrus. We don't even have stuff to take care of a dog. Oh, isn't he the cutest thing you've ever seen, brother? Dogs are man's best friend, and while we're not exactly men, we could always use more friends. He just needs some love and care. No way. I'm not changing my mind, Paps. Just quit trying to convince me. We ain't equipped to take care of a dog. Lots I ain't into the idea of picking up its poop every day or sneezing my skull off when it sheds. Point is, I don't like dogs. You get it now? I don't want pets in the house, Paps. But we can't possibly leave him out here to freeze, Sons. Think of his poor little paws. <sighs> Gotta play the guilt card, huh? Fine. But on one non-negotiable condition. You're taking care of him. None of that creature or anything that comes out of him is my responsibility. Just to make sure you stick to this, I'm gonna go draft up a contract and rules. You better be ready for this responsibility, perhaps. I think it's time to give you a makeover, little one. Take it from me, the great and handsome Papyrus. <laughs> hmm. Seems you should have a name as well. I think I will call you Cookie, because you are the sweetest pup in the world. Here you are, Cookie. A perfect gift for the best puppy friend of the great Papyrus. Now everyone will know who takes care of you. Hey, Papyrus. I got the rules all finished. First off, you gotta name the mutt. Second... Oh, Sons! Perfect timing. Can you keep an eye on Cookie while I get a towel? I will be back in the flashiest of flashes. Wait, Paps! Don't give me that look. I know you're just using that face to trick Papyrus. I ain't fooled, you hear me? Gonna give it a week and you'll be out of here. Hey, stop that! Crazy man! Quit it! What in the world? Hey, Paps, come get your mutt off of me. He's turning me into a sans cake. Huh? Oh, dear. Good heavens, my spaghetti! Sons, quit chasing Cookie around like that! You're scaring him, the poor thing! Hey, get off of me! Can a guy get just a little piece around here? I'll ask you some quiet, and I can't even have that! Cookie, get off of him! I know he's grumpy, but he's family! We don't eat family! Let's get you something to eat, eh? Good night, Peps. Papyrus! Eh? I've had enough day here with this dog! Come over here and get him out of my room now! Cookie, we're gonna go somewhere where I never have to see you again. All you're good for is destroying the house. And my poor bed. I'm taking you far away while you'll never come back. Well, that was easy. Now he can get back to normal. Quiet, peaceful normal. Now that's the stuff. No mutt to ruin this beautiful day. Uh, time for some shut eye. Uh.
Yeah, peace is overrated anyway. Cookie! Where are ya? Come on, boy! Cookie! Where are ya? Cookie! Oh, jeez. What have I done? Poor Cookie. I wanted to get up early and spend the morning with Cookie, but I can't seem to wake up today. I must be getting old. These bones ain't what they used to be. Ah, but enough of that. Why were you out so early, brother? Uh, I gotta come clean, Peps. I'm so sorry. Huh? <laughs> Cookie, wow, you... you came back. <laughs> no, not this one. Yeah, not this either. Hmm. No, no, no. Jeez, perhaps, what's got you all gung-ho this morning? Well, some of us prefer to get their work done early. I can't say as much for a certain lazy skeleton who is asleep more than he is awake. You know, I was reading that too much sleep is bad for your mind, brother. Eh, yeah, maybe for humans. But let's stick to the main question, bro. Today happens to be Frisk's birthday. It's a human custom to celebrate the day they left their mother's womb with a party and gifts. It's important that we get Frisk something they will cherish, Sons. <coughs> A special gift? Frisk hasn't said anything about that. Ahem! <laughs> oh? Yes, of course. We will be the picture of punctuality. That was Frisk, just as I predicted their party is tonight at eight. Would you please help me pick out a gift fitting for our best friend? I've done the work of sifting through these online shops already. Just need to narrow down the choices. Any ideas, brother? What do you think Frisk would like? A new dress? A handbag of some kind? You may have overlooked something, Pats. You need money to shop. We're flat broke. Money? Oh, that's right. I had completely forgotten. Sons, do you have any money? Didn't you just hear me when I said we're broke? Emphasis on we. Oh, well, Pooh, what are we to do with empty pockets? Oh, I know. We will just have to make money. I'm sure the two of us can make lots of money in time for the perfect gift. Oh, no, Peps. I'm not about to get wrapped up in another scheme of yours. Huh? Meons are a symbol, dear brother. We can buy now a musical talent. Me on piano and you on trombone. And dazzle the populace with our bombastic sound. People will come from all over the city to hear us and shower us with money. Well, it's technically not a bad idea, but... But what? I haven't picked up the trombone in years, Paps. I guess I could sing, but I'm totally tone deaf. Got any other ideas, bro? Hmm. Come to think of it, I know exactly where we can make some money. Oh, this will be so much fun! Pets, take it easy! I still need to think about it! No need to think about anything, dear brother! <laughs> Can sleep anywhere at any time. Can make world famous, perfect, delicious, wonderful spaghetti. Able to teleport at will using shortcuts. Artistic phone control. You've got to be kidding me, right? These are not talents for a job resume, you imbeciles. 
well, Undyne, uh, we were simply hoping that you would hire us for the day at your ice cream parlor. And given how trustworthy and hardworking we are, you know we will be perfect employees. Isn't that right, Sons? Er, uh, you got it. Uh, we need to earn a little dough by tonight, and we're hoping you can help. Ugh, fine. But I'm only hiring you because I'm short on staff today. Come with me and I'll show you around. <laughs> this is probably the easiest job in the world. So easy even you two can do it. When someone orders, just push this button. We have vanilla, chocolate, green tea, strawberry, and blueberry. After, you can add whatever toppings they ask for. The machine does all the work, but don't just press everything all at once. All you have to do is hand it over and take their money. Is that clear? Oh, that looks delightful. Can I have it? Only if you pay for it. <laughs> Looks easy enough. Put me to work, boss. That's Papyrus's job, Sans. Your job is outside. Follow me. Huh? Wow! No way, Undyne. I'll look ridiculous. You got anything else? Heck, I'll clean the counters or do the dishes if it means I don't gotta do this. Whoa! Is the Weedle employee unhappy with his position? It's this or nothing, pal. Now, give me a big smile. Or I mean more than usual. Can you even stop smiling? Anyway, just make the customers feel welcome. Dance around, sing a bit. Easy peasy. <laughs> Uh, hello, sir. Uh, what ice cream would you like to purchase on this day? I can assist you in making your order if you like. We have vanilla, chocolate, uh, green something, strawberry, uh... I don't need your help, youngin. I may be old, but I can still pick out my own ice cream. Now, let's see. Hmm, strawberry is too sweet. Vanilla is too bland. What should I choose, youngin? Duh, I'm getting mixed signals. Do you want my help or not? Oh, I can do it myself, you impatient whippersnapper! Now, how about chocolate with explosive candy? Oh, no, wait, this almond ice cream looks good. Although green tea is quite hip with the kids these days. Maybe I should try that. <laughs> Come get your ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, we got it all! choose, then please allow me to choose for you. You are holding up the line. You can't rush these things, youngin. You'll understand when you're older. All right, then I'll choose for you. This makes all the flavors together if you can't decide. None other than the genius papyrus could have solved that. You are very welcome. Oh my, what wonderful colors. I hope this tastes as good as it looks. Thank you, youngin. That's one satisfied customer. Perhaps this is my true calling. Maybe I could one day buy the shop from Undyne and have my very own ice cream business. Then I could have all the ice cream I wanted every day. Oh dear! Oh, what is happening? This infernal machine must be blocked up with too much goodness. Oh, good heavens! What am I to do now? Help! Somebody help the great papyrus! Help! Oh, no! Let's get, get in everywhere! Sons! Where are you? Help me! Oh, goodness me! We'll blast this horrible machine! 
I changed my mind about buying you. George, help me with this, you lazy elf. Well, I'm here. <sighs> okay. I think the worst is over. Lucky me, only four nozzles broke. Otherwise, I'd be in for a world of... Good heavens! George, get in here and help me battle this demon machine! Yes, it's start! We must stop it before it turns the whole world into ice cream! Wonder how those jumps are doing. Can't be that bad. I give him a hard time, but at least Papyrus is a hard worker. Sans is a slacker, but he'll step up if his bro needs it. I'm sure they're doing just fine. What? Ice cream? Papyrus! You idiot! How did you manage to screw this one up? Ah, oh, my poor ice cream shop! It's ruined now because of you two! Well, that was the opposite of refreshing. This whole thing was a mistake. I hope Paps is doing better, but I'm done. D-O-N-E. Done. Frisk likes sticks, right? I'll get them a nice stick. The both of you have really done it now! Both my shop and my rental costume! Completely destroyed! I knew it was a bad idea hiring you two! It was an accident, Undyne. I didn't mean to. The machine must be old or something. And needed new parts or a new f flux capacitor or whatever ice cream machines need. Please don't hurt me. Nuh-uh. You're not weaseling out of this. I told you not to press everything at once, and you totally did just that. Uh, I was just trying to please an undecided customer. Uh, the customer is king, after all. I've heard enough out of you! Now compensate me for the losses, or I'll take it out of your hide! Er, bugs. Brother, can you do one of your big saucy pew pew things at her? I'm sure we could get away if you were to do that. Nah, she'd just dodge it and then we'd be in more trouble. Besides, we gotta take responsibility. Not that I'm usually one to pay debts, but I don't normally have to pay at spear point. We'll clean this up and work to pay it off, okay, Undyne? No need. I'm sick of your faces. You're both fired. And make sure I don't see you two for a while. You don't want to know what I'll do if I do. So not only are we completely penniless and can't afford a gift for Frisk, but we also ruined Undyne's business. What a shameful day for the great Papyrus. I did not expect money to be the source of such misery. Now I know why humans say it's the root of all evil. But still, I'm disappointed in myself for not being able to make any. I wasn't aware you were in dire straits, youngin. Sons! These people just gave us money and we didn't even have to do anything! What is this miraculous look we found? Now we can afford a gift for Frisk! Guess there's something to be said for begging. Not sure how I feel about it, though. But sure, we got the money now. What are we gonna buy? Oh dear, dear, inexperienced brother. For a gentleman as cultured and well-versed in the world of gift-giving as I am, this is a poultry question. The answer is very simple. Just let the great Papyrus handle this whole thing. So, what did you end up getting for Frisk, Paps? Looks heavy. <laughs> it is the perfect gift for any occasion. One that humans in particular are in great need of. I'm sure that Frisk will love it. Hey, you two. It's so good to see you. I'm glad you could make it to my party. Frisk, this is your birthday gift. We spent all day making money to buy it just for you. It is the latest model, luxurious to the tiniest micrometer. Go ahead and open it, Frisk. No way! You got me something? You didn't have to. 
birthday, Frisk. Do you love it? I researched human burial services and found this is an essential component. Now you will be prepared for the rest of your life. Oh, Pyrus. No? Are you McFrickin' kidding me with that? You got Frisk a tombstone for their birthday? How absolutely tone deaf are you? That ain't just a bad birthday gift, that's the worst birthday gift. So ah, stop you! I was only trying to ah, to make a frisk slap in my future! Please stop now, dear! Beating me, this is how it won! I heard once that everything is only precious twice. Once before it's ours, and once again once it's gone. Big words there, kid. I just like to live in the moment. That's what really matters. That's true. I'm just happy I met all of you. Frisk? What's up, kiddo? Kid! Uh, what in the world? You okay? Please stop! No! No! Pep! Oh god, no Pep! Yeah. No! No! Peps! What? What's going on? Say something, bro! What has gotten into you? No yelling at dinner. Uh, it's nothing, bro. Stupid nightmares again. Did you seriously fall asleep at the table, sons? Yeah, just been thinking about that crazy kid. Keeps me up at night. Hold it! You have no clue what girls like, dear brother. Allow me, the great papyrus, perfect gentleman and lifetime knower of dating things, to help. Yeah, I don't know, perhaps. So, get away! These are not for you! The infernal insect! You rule the day you mess with the great papyrus! Perhaps, would you cool it with the messing around? Hello, sons! Papyrus! Is that you? for you. I love it! Thanks so much. Let's get going. I am so excited that you joined us today, Frisk, that even my car is rumbling in agreement, practically roaring with excitement. Pretty sure that's just your stomach, Pips. <laughs> Frisk, how about you? Are you feeling adventurous today? I can't wait! Thanks, you guys! Oh, I was so excited, but I haven't eaten today. Brother, you wouldn't happen to have anything to eat, would you? Huh? How about a nice cold dog for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Sons, that is not funny! I need actual food! A hot dog, please! Come on, car! My 
valiant steed cannot abandon its master in our time of need. Not now! Come on! Put your back into it, sons! Push! Frisk, you're doing great! Never give up! Onward! <laughs> Off we go! Breaking away at lightning speed! Oh, would his royal highness like to get off his throne and help push? Plus, I told you to put it in Park Queen! Sons, it's parking. That was a royally undercooked pun. I heard there is a hot spring nearby. We can all relax and soak our weary bones. Frisk, how would you say to a barbecue night? We can grill meat, sausages, potatoes, and the true star of the night, my famous spaghetti for dessert. How about it, Frisk? I don't mean to brag, but I am a five-star chef just like my father. You haven't lived until you've tried my spaghetti. The secret is ketchup in the sauce. Is your mouth watering yet, Frisk? <laughs> Why did... What the heck was that? Looks like the sun's setting. We should find some shelter soon. The kids gotta rest after walking all day. <laughs> Wonderful! We can look for shooting stars and play party songs. Songs is a monster on the trombone, Frisk. Nah, not now, Paps. Gotta get some firewood if we want it to last. Keep an eye on the kid, bro. Ooh, I'm starving. I wish we could have had that barbecue. You wait here, Frisk. I will find us something to eat. The great Papyrus has a keen eye for foraging. Oh, uh, Papyrus? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Puny humans will never outsmart me. The perfect trap. I'd like to see a human try to escape this. <laughs> Are you human, kid? Yes. Really? Yes. Couldn't have asked for better timing. Don't move a muscle, kid. What? Where's Paps and the kid? Hope nothing bad happened. Take my hand. I'll help you up. 
Well, I can't just leave you there. Come on, give me your hand. I am the hero of the underground. I don't need help from a weakling like you. Ah! Human, don't you try to trick me with those puppy dog eyes. You can't fool me. Think so, Undyne. This kid's my friend. Lay off, okay? You two know each other? You betcha. The kid's a good friend. Hurt her, and you mess with me. This is all a simple misunderstanding. I'm sorry, Frisk. You even tried to save me, and I still attacked you. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're okay. So, where's Papyrus? Yowch! <laughs> Please forgive me! Oh, bees! I just want to die, your sweet honey! My barbecue sword! Owie! Owie! Stop! I'm here! I'm begging you! Don't help me! 